And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And when you consider how the Barons are doing, guys, your thoughts? Well, their offense is clicking so far, capturing the momentum here early on. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified some weaknesses, and they are exploiting them. Here's Maxi. And Baltimore looking at who they've got. Outside Milton. Let's it go from 14. The shot comes out. So the Barons will take it the other way. Here's Nimhart. Pass to Dozier. Here's Levingston. Maxi covering. Here's Levingston. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. What more is there to say about how much Embiid means to his team and this city? After being hurt his first two years, he's been worth the wait. Milton for three. Drains the triple. Milton's got seven points. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. Here's Dozier, hounded by Harris. Here's Nimhart, looking for his first basket still in this one. Outside Milton. And it's all tied up. And with Embiid, when he puts his foot on the gas, there's no stopping him. A top scorer in the league since his inception. Not many centers who can stop this man. He uses so much power, almost unguardable. And the Barons with possession here, following the score by Philadelphia. Out left to the wing. Embiid covers. Tipped away. Six to shoot. Embiid with a steal. Here's Milton. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. And the Barons with possession here. In the second quarter, held scoreless. And that one is hammered home. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Harris. And Harris throws it down. And I understand that people might not realize this, but he's six foot seven. You cannot forget about his bounce because he's got some. Here's Nimhart. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Here's Dozier, pounded by Harris. Offensive board, pass to Dozier. Here's Levingston, launches a three, knocks down the triple. Levingston. He's got six. <laughs> Their intensity has only picked up this quarter, even while holding the lead. Outside Maxi. Harris on the wing. Back to Maxi. And here's Tucker. Outside Maxi. Livingston grabs the miss. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. Here's Dozier. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Levingston, Levingston. that's good. That's his second triple of the quarter and third of the game. Keep building. Outside Tucker. Pass to Harris. Outside Milton. The steal! Here's Levingston. Maxi covering. Over to the wing. Here's Dozier. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on P.J. Tucker. That's foul That's number two for him. That's his second. And I think they'll keep him in. He's got to be careful. A third and he'll sit for the rest of the half. Now a timeout called by Baltimore. Well, teams are always hunting mismatches. Grant, I'll put it to you here. You prefer a speed advantage or a size advantage over your defender? Well, B.A., it's all about the mismatches. 
and going back to when I was young and actually had some speed, it, it, it was great to be able to have both, depending upon who you went against. If a smaller player guarded you, use your size to shoot right over them. And if a bigger defender was on you, then yes, use your speed to turn the corner and get to the rim. So it depended upon who was guarding you. on the clock and the layup is good I like the intention the focus finding a way to make it work inside the Sixers trailing pass to Milton Harris on the wing Ooh, they can't stop the run with that one and they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. But let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, Joel Embiid drawing comparisons to some legendary big men. He said, quote, I want to be mentioned as one of the greats. That's my goal. And obviously being a Hall of Famer. But you've got to take step by step, one day at a time. It's going to take a lot of work, and I'm willing to put it in. Guys? Oh, he's well on his way, Allie. Thanks. In the mold of Shaq, Joel Embiid is physically just overwhelming. Plus, he's got some touch and skill. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Here's Jerome. Nice shot Whoa, by Vonley. Vonley's Von got 14. I'll be honest, he's having a better quarter than a lot of my nights back when I played. Outside Milton. Back to Maxi. And here's Harris outside. Fires in the triple. He's got seven. And you just got to respect Harris's three-point shot. He is a very capable scorer from that distance. Pass to Von Ley. He can't get it to go. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Barton against Harris. Here's Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. The offensive arsenal of Embiid is phenomenal. He's capable of scoring in a multitude of ways. Pass to Von Ley. Now here's Barton. Philadelphia grabs the miss. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. Yay. A nice shot by Milton. Baltimore leading. Now a timeout called by Baltimore. The debate about Shake Milton's true position is still going on. Point guard, wing, everybody's got an opinion. And your the 76ers with some changes. McDaniels is checked in for Tucker. Melton comes in for Maxie. And it's James Harden in for Milton. Here's Mason. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Shots good by Anderson. And maybe with Milton, it's a matter of how to get the most out of his versatility, Richard. That's the key. He's a good spot-up shooter, but he's good with the ball in his hands, too. And he can facilitate. It's a good problem for a coach to have. Harden's shot is good. Harden's got six. I'm just going to say this. I don't think the average fan understands how strong Harden is. He has no problem finishing through contact with those wide shoulders. Here's Jerome. Harden outside. The three. Jerome. That's good. Jerome. Jerome's gotten his third basket of the night. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Melton outside. It's McDaniels on the wing. He's guarded by Barton. Kept alive. Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. Hammering the offensive glass. Embiid putting that big size to use. Pass to Jerome. Now Barton. Defended by Harden. Here's Jerome. No good on the three. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Melton misses. 
Here are the Barons with the ball. They've led by as much as 10. Barton's shot off the mark. And here are the Sixers now. It's a three-point game. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. you got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Here's Jerome, defended by Harden. Harden against McDaniels. Pass to Vonley. There's the three. That shot off the mark. Harden against Barton. Left side, Harden. Outside, McDaniels. Clock at six. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Close game here in Philadelphia. Martin outside. Back to Jerome. To the middle. And Martin gets it to go. Martin's got six points. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Martin with a steal. Here's Jerome. Here's Von Ley. That one's good. No, Seven no, for no. ten now. He knows his job on the glass, and he does it well. Cleaning it up and sending it right back. Outside Harden. It's McDaniels on the wing. They get it back. Here's Harris. No good. Not a friendly rim at all this trip down. Inside, Mason. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Now here's Melton. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. McDaniels, that's good. Got his man all tangled up. I mean, serious crossover. And the Barons with possession here. Leading by five. 121 left to play in the second quarter. Here's Barton. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Martin against McDaniels. Six on the shot clock. That shot off. McDaniels gone two of five from the floor. Pass to Barton. Back to Jerome. Here's Hawkins. Over McDaniels. Hawkins no good. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to stream together some shots to have any kind of chance. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Hawkins. Over McDaniels. And the basket by Hawkins and force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Harden, the pass to Embiid. Fades and shoots. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. It's the Barons, up by five. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third.